Hello and welcome back to another video of how to become a master of shoreline. In this video we're going to talk about uh, the west side of the resort building. About the loot, the keys and where to get them. I'm going to go from floor to floor. Alright. So this is the first floor. Wait, we're going to have a scav here. Can you... Alright, doesn't matter. Alright, we're on the first floor. And this floor actually has two keys that we have to check. One of it is 104. 104 uh, is a pretty nice room because it contains a lot of good mats. Um, and it has a chance of a lapse key card that you can find on the table. Uh, the key spawns near the power station in a locker in a shed. This is also on the map shoreline. Second room is 112. Uh, this is a room that's mostly used for quests. Uh oh. Don't kill me, please. Oh. And 112 has two duffel bags, uh, some drinks there, and a lot of scavs camping it, apparently. Two duffel bags. Uh, it has like a quest item in this fridge. Uh, you can get the 112 key from uh, the bus station in resort. Um, and it actually spawns in the bus. He is worth a lot of money. Early wipe. Going to the second floor. Which is the floor that has the most loot. Starting off with 220. 220 is a loot that has a, a luxury item spawn chance with two weapon crates and an ammo crate and a lo lots of mat spawns. Uh, on this corner you have uh, a money spawn. It can spawn rubles, dollars, euros, mostly dollars and uh, euros. Two weapon crates. Here we have luxury spawns. You can spawn a lion, bitcoin, gold chain. Second gun crate, the mat spawns and the ammo crate. There's a, a nice amount of loot here. And the 220 key spawns in uh, in Cottage, also on the map shoreline, one of the luxury uh, houses, and it's uh, hanging in one of those key lockers. 221 is also one of the keys that we use. Um, let me see. 221 spawns on a chair next to the blue bathroom stall on the beach, uh, which is also on the shoreline. Once you enter the room, you have on your left a money spawn. Most of the times you have euros here, but it can spawn rubles as well. One weapon crate. Mets here. There is a uh, chance for an M4 near this wall. Come on, where is this guy? Because he's getting pretty annoying. I don't even see him. Yeah. What a cheeky guy. But yeah. A duffel bag and a map bag here. And then we have one gun crate. And in the second room. We have an ammo crate. A possible chance for an air sauce spawn. A remington. A red key card spawn on the blue barrel. And two gun lockers. And gun lockers can contain a DVL. Now for 219, it's not a real special room. The key spawns in the in the in the tower on the beach near pier boat. It's uh, the lighthouse. It's on a wooden crate there, and this room contains a weapon crate, a money spawn, a gun locker again. Uh, you have a chance of sniper ammo here with an AK-74N, and of course some more mats here. And here is a chance for a 3M module armor spawn. 316 spawns in admin. It's really close to this building. It's one of the better keys. It has a Tetris spawn chance. It has uh, two gun crates, two grenade crates, and some streamer items. Uh, the Tetris can spawn here. As you can see right now, it spawns a GM count. 
You have an M4 spawn on the chair. If it's there, always check below the chair because the, below there you can actually uh, it can actually spawn M4 Max with uh, bullets in it. One gun crate, two gun crate, two grenade boxes, and of course mats again. And you have a streamer item here, which is called the the, the mayonnaise from Devil Dog, if I'm correct. That's it for the second room, uh, second floor. Uh, on the third floor, we have a safe, uh, which I ha highly recommend using. Also, another gun locker here. There's another gun crate there as well. And then you have here the safe. The key that you need for this safe is the safe. Uh, poo -poo -poo. The safe 321. Uh, let me check real quick where we can get that one. Um, let me see. I have the list here. Uh, the key can be found in a locker at the top of the weather station tower. That's also on, uh, in Shoreline. You have like the high hill. You have uh, a high tower there. Many people snipe there. And inside that tower is like a small room. And in that room uh, it spawns the key for this safe. And down here. Alright. Always watch this room as well. It has a gun crate. A small one, but it can still contain a gun and some good loot. It's always worth checking. Now we have West Wing 205. 205 uh, uh, spawns as well in the lighthouse uh, on one of the broken boxes as well. You can actually find two keys there. Uh, the room is known for many mats, uh, and on the second part of the room you have mat spawns as well with a duffel bag, money spawns, and one gun crate. If you're lucky, also check this spot, it can spawn an MP5. Back to the... Ow. Back to the third floor. We have 306, it has uh, two dead scavs in there with an M4 spawn and some drinks and money. A uh, pretty good room. You also need it for quests. Uh, the key, uh, the key can be found uh, in factory, in one of the lockers in the bathroom. Two dead scavs, a med box, drink spawns, and you have here some cash. Also, we have. Um, 301. This is a key that spawns in a bus near the tunnel extract in the shoreline. As you see, you, uh, most keys can actually be found in, in the map itself. Um, and yeah, this room has a lot of med spawns, a gun crate, two computers. Uh, it's a pretty decent room in my opinion. Mats, it can spawn an SV here. Uh, money, two computers, a gun crate. And look at that, even a USB flash drive. Pretty good. Uh, there's only one more spot in West that you should actually check. And that's, uh, the basement. Because it has, like, a... Uh-oh. Give me a sec. Where are these scavs coming from? Whoa! Okay. Okay. I haven't seen uh, that many scavs in one raid before. Wow. Alright, let's go to the basement real quick. Because that's like one of the other spots as well. A really important spot, you have a key spawn here on the table, and you have a lapse uh, keycard spawn here. Uh, that's it for today's video of uh, Shoreline West. I'm going to be uploading one for East and Administrator as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, subscri uh, subscribe to my YouTube and Twitch channel. 
If you want to know any more tips, you can catch me live or send me a message down below in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.